السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ عرب و خرب و درود و سلام ہر آن ہر گھڑی تا قیامت حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اور تمام امت کے مسلمانوں پر اللہ تعالیٰ مغفرت فرمائے میری آپ کی ہمارے والدین اور تمام امت کے مسلمانوں کی آمین سمامین آفٹر ورلڈ وار ٹو فرام نائنٹین فورٹی ون ٹو نائنٹین فورٹی ایٹ ان اسپین آف ایٹ ایئرز ٹو ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ففٹی نائن ٹیرس اٹیکس وہ کنڈکٹیڈ بائی جوش ٹیرس بائی مینی آرگنائزیشن اگنون اسٹرن گینگ ہیگنا اینڈ وی نو آف دا فیمس بامبنگ آف کنگ ڈیوڈ ہوٹل وچ ٹک پلیس آن دا ٹوینٹی سیکنڈ آف جولائی نائنٹین فورٹی سکس دے وہ کنڈکٹیڈ بائی اگنون اینڈ دا لیڈرشپ آف مینکن بیگن ان وچ نائنٹی ون انوسن پیپل وہ کلڈ آؤٹ آف وچ ٹوینٹی ایٹ وہ برٹش فورٹی ون وہ ایربس سیونٹین جوز اینڈ فائیو ادرس دا اگنون گروپ دے ڈریسڈ اپ ایز ایربس ٹو شو ایز دو مسلم ڈیڈ دا بامبنگ and the person responsible was Manikin Begin and it was the biggest terrorist attack against the history of British mandate in which 91 people were killed and at that time Manikin Begin he was called as terrorist number one by the British government later on after a few years he becomes the Prime Minister of Israel and later on after a few years he gets the Nobel Prize for Peace imagine a person who has killed a person who has killed hundreds and thousands of innocent human beings becomes the Prime Minister of Israel and later on gets the Nobel Prize for Peace and most of the groups that were fighting like Stern Gang, Ignun, Haganah all of these Jewish groups and the leaders like Yatisak Suribin Manikin Begin, Ariel Sharon, later on became Prime Ministers and high holding ranks in the state of Israel. And all of them, they were fighting for a Jewish state. If you see the world map, before 1945, Israel did not exist. Israel didn't exist. These Jewish groups, they were called as terrorists by the Britishers. They fought for a Jewish state. Later on, with power, they grabbed the land. and they kick the Palestinians out and now the same people are calling the same Palestinians who are fighting for a more just cause for getting the land back and they are labeled today as terrorists by the Israelis <laughs> imagine Hitler insulated 6 million Jews he kicks the Jewish community out why should they come to Palestine? the Palestinians they welcome the cousins with open hands if they should take a land they should go back to Germany they should go back to Europe Imagine the Palestinians welcome the cousins. Imagine suppose a visitor comes to your house. Being a stranger you welcome him in your house. After a few days he kicks you out of the house. And when you cry at the doorstep I want my house back. People call you a terrorist. <laughs> This is exactly what has happened today. The Palestinians they are called as terrorists. For what? They only want the land back. And so called people. Most of these powerful first world countries. They are agreeing with this unjust cause. 